Good morning, everybody. My name is Deanna. I live in Washington, and today I'm going to show you my food bank haul that was done on Wednesday the 24th. So I laid everything out, and in a moment, I'm gonna be showing you all of that. I just want to give you a little bit of information so you can have some comfort about uh, knowing what this video is about and who I am and who my family is. So my name is Deanna. I am a 60-year-old woman. I live in the state of Washington. I have a husband named Adnan. I call him Addy because he's a little yummy cupcake. Uh, he's quite a bit older than I am. And then I have my dear sweet little grandma. Her name is Charlene. She is 92 years old. She has lived with us for a year and a half. You will see a lot of her because she is absolutely adorable. I also have 11 very, very spoiled chickens. Um, right now, they are all outside. Um, Grandma and I raised those babies when we got here in her room for five weeks. It was in October, so they couldn't go out to the coop. And uh, she became very close to them. They're bonded. They're super friendly. Every day, one or two chickens will come in, and they'll go sit with Grandma in her room for, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes, and then they go back outside. So you will see my chickens from time to time, especially a rooster named Harry. So watch for him, because if he's in a video, uh, you will enjoy him. He is a fabulous rooster. Again, my only point here is to encourage you to think about if there are resources that you can use if you need them. No shame, no explaining, no nothing, baby. You need it, you go get it, okay? I want to give you confidence. Um, every food haul video that I have ever watched and every experience that I have ever had, the staff at the food banks, they treat you beautifully. You will not be shamed. You will not be made to feel small. A lot of times they'll want to give you more than you think you will need. They reach out to you. Um, they care for you. And it's just a way to help the community. Life is a big circle, right? So maybe in the past things were better for you and you were able to help others in whatever way you could. That's great. But the circle says your turn is going to come. And so if you're on the receiving end, do it with grace and dignity and get what you need. All right. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe. If you liked it well enough to hit that like button, go ahead. If you didn't like it at all, you don't have to come back. But truly, I would love to see you again. If you leave comments, please be respectful of myself, the other people that are commenting, and be respectful to yourself. All right, you have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, and one more thing. Let's just clear the air. This is as good as it gets. I'm never going to put makeup on for you. Uh, my hair is almost never down. It's always bunned up in a big old nasty mess on top of my head. My glasses are usually smudgy. And this 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 thing boy she's in every video mostly because i ate those 18 cookies so you're going to see her a lot i call her mildred and the little belly down here which i'm not going to show you today uh her name is esther and she also will make an appearance in absolutely every single video so if you have your own mildred and your own esther girl boy you are in good company we're going to have some fun together all right you take care bye bye This is the food bank haul that I received on January the 24th. I have laid everything out for you to see and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it. I live in the state of Washington and I just want to say to you that if you are finding yourself in a place where you are considering using the food bank, I want to normalize this process for you. I want to give you the confidence to say, hey, this resource is out here for me. Whatever my circumstances are, I know if I'm struggling. And if you're struggling, you don't owe anybody an explanation 
and you do not need to feel bad about your circumstance. Many, many people, myself included, have found uh, myself in a current situation where this is a resource that my family needs and I am not afraid to use it and I don't want you to be afraid to use it either. Now my family consists of three people. There is my husband, Admin. I call him Addy because he's a cupcake. You probably never see him on screen. There is myself. You will see me but I am a wrinkly old lady, certainly not a beauty queen, so you're gonna have to suck up when you watch these videos. The other thing is that I take care of my 92-year-old grandmother, and you will see her quite a bit because she is absolutely adorable. So without any further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through these items and just let you know what we received today. And again, my goal is to give you confidence to use the resources available to you. I'm going to start here. This is a two pound pack of organic chicken breast. I'm very excited to have this. I get this almost every time I go to the food bank. For our family of three, this is usually at the very least two meals, but it's often four or six because I usually make a soup or a casserole or um, I just do something with that chicken that makes it spread itself a little bit longer. Here we have strawberries. I get these um, maybe once every six weeks and I love them. I use them for smoothies. Um, sometimes when I have too many, I make strawberry lemonade concentrate, I can it. It is very good. Sometimes I give some to grandma on her oatmeal or her yogurt parfaits. This is a one pound bag of penne regate. I love this. I use it for a lot of casseroles, both chicken and beef. Right here is oatmeal. I swear, I am always so happy when I get oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Grandma loves oatmeal. Uh, when she came to live with me, she said she doesn't like oatmeal, so a year went by, and finally I said, Grandma, let me give you my oatmeal. So I made the oatmeal with butter and brown sugar, and then I put some home canned fruit on the top and a little dollop of whipped cream, and she is a believer. I almost always get beans. Today I got pinto beans. I could have taken black beans, garbanzo beans, navy beans and maybe another type of beans, but I am loaded for beans right now, so I didn't feel like that was something that I could take in good conscience and use within a reasonable amount of time. I do can these quite a bit. In fact, on another video, I'll show you my canning, how I preserve what I get at food bank to make sure it lasts me and that nothing goes to waste. These are a little leftover package of holiday nog cookies. I would like to have gotten into these earlier, but I have gained some weight, my friends. So um, there it sits. Back behind there is the jar of peanut butter. I'm always happy to have that. I love it when they have cracked macaroni and cheese because grandma truly does love that for breakfast. I mean, not breakfast, for lunch. Now, I don't feed her a lot of processed food, but I do allow her to have some of her favorites a couple times a week. Um, it's just what makes life worth living. So there's that. I got a bag of Mesa Harina, which I have never used before, golden corn flour. I'm going to look for some recipes and see what I can do with that. I might not have taken that by choice, but they were overwhelmed with them and they just really asked us to take it if we could. So I'm gonna try it. Down here are planter's peanuts. I got five of those. I almost always get those. Those are um, quite lovely. I have a can of sliced water chestnuts, which is great because sometime in the next two weeks, I think I'm making a Thai chicken soup and I want it for that. Two cans of white chicken in water. I don't know about you, but these are always so fabulous. I do everything with those. Before I started canning my own chicken, these were like one of my favorite things in my pantry. Down here are pistachios in the shell. My husband loves those. I love pistachios too, but he likes to sit in front of the TV and eat a handful at a time. Uh, usually watching sports. 
Big bag of raisins. I'm never going to say no to raisins. I love them. I think they're fabulous. Usually I make Addy oatmeal raisin cookies or I'll stew some raisins and make raisin bars or I eat them by themselves. Um, so those are very good. I have a one pound bag of walnuts. I use these all the time. Uh, I bake with them. I add them to salads. They are very good. This is something that I'm excited to show you. This is, oh, that's not it. Okay, I lied, but this is still a great thing. This is three pounds of limes. So if you have a good way for me to preserve the limes, please reach out into the comments and let me know. I will be happy to know what you think. There were two cans of this cherry limeade. I drank one last night when I was putting groceries away. Down here is a little baggie they gave us of French Row San Francisco Bay coffee, which is fabulous. This is what I buy when I am able to buy coffee, and we love it. We had a cup this morning, so that was lovely. Right here is a container that has sugar in it, and that's because last night they gave me a four pound bag of sugar but it was raining so heavy that by the time I got home, that bag was about to split open and uh, because it was soggy. So I just added it to my container already. How many of you are getting this? If you're already going to food bank, how many of you get the butter? I love this. I throw it in the freezer until I'm ready for it and it is wonderful. Now this coconut dream uh, I am in love with. I've never used it before, but this morning for breakfast, Grandma and I made this little recipe on the back. The only thing I did differently was I added about a quarter cup of stewed prunes, and it made it so sweet and yummy, and Grandma, who needs to eat her prunes every day, absolutely loved it. Behind it is shelf-stable milk. Again, absolutely one of my favorite things. I love that. Right down here are two 15 ounce packages of cheddar cheese. Um, I can always use that. This I thought was little cubes of white cheddar, but I believe it's something else. Manchango, Solera Manchango. Has anybody ever tried these before? Well, we're gonna try them. Grandma loves cheese, so I don't think that they're going to go bad at our house and then look at this people one of us has been living right pumpkin spice creamer from starbucks this is my third one they are not out of date i get one uh once every two weeks so until they run out i so look forward to enjoying that right behind there is a two gallon not a two gallon a one gallon of two percent milk Grandma will enjoy that. I don't, I'm not so much a milk drinker, but I use it when I make uh, like potato and leek soup or any of the cream soups. Grandma eats it on her cereal. Um, when we're desperate, I use it in my coffee. All right, moving along. Right here is a nice uh, five ounce container of spring mix and baby spinach. We'll be making chicken salads for lunch. And so that'll be good. Look at these tomatoes. These look like grape tomatoes. They look absolutely pristine. I'm gonna pop those in some salad today. And then we have some locally grown carrots. I don't know the name of it, but there is a, a farm that grows produce and then donates all of its extra to the food bank. And so we get gorgeous things. Uh, I have been getting leeks, beautiful, beautiful leeks, but I have enough leeks right now that to take them, I can't use them, so I had to leave them there. Now, this is a wonderful surprise. Take a look at this. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? This is a Romanesco, and I'm planning to use that somehow this weekend. I'm not exactly sure. I've got to do a little bit of research, see how to um, fix it. Hopefully, Grandma and I will both love it. It's just so pretty. I can't take the <laughs> I can't take the camera off of it. My eye wants to stay there. I'm going to go ahead and swing around the corner. We got five really beautiful firm apples. 
Sometimes I will stew these up and make a brown sugar vanilla apple slice for grandma to put on her oatmeal. And then I generally can that. Three scrumptious onions in very beautiful shape. Three lemons, look at that, that is gorgeous. There were five of these little oranges, but I used one this morning to make that drink that grandma and I had for breakfast. And then I got this, Vega Original Plant-Based Protein. So I have used proteins before and love them. I have never used this brand. So if you use this, go ahead, shoot me a text or a message. Let me know how you used it. Give me some ideas. I don't want anything to go to waste, people. Look at this. Let's again, just look at the beautiful color. That I think is, I don't know. I was gonna call it an acorn squash, but maybe it's something else. But nevertheless, it's a winter squash. I will probably roast that and fix it with chicken, or who knows? Sometimes I like to cut it up in cubes and, and roast it and put it on salad, but it looks like it's in real good shape. Back here are, I think there's four or five russet potatoes. That'll be nice for baked potatoes. I have a really nice loaf of organic 22 whole grain bread. That is like my favorite kind of bread, not necessarily the brand, although I do love oral wheat, but I like any whole grain real bread. Now, Grandma likes the $1.32 loaf of white bread at Walmart. I don't love that bread, but I do like Grandma to have what she wants, so I do buy that for her and she eats it as cheese toast maybe once a week. I have some artisan style dinner rolls. I'm going to make sliders out of those. I have some, a little bit of turkey and a little bit of ham left in my refrigerator, so I'll be doing that probably on the weekend. There's my 2% milk. It's a little battered, but aren't we all? Down here is something that I have never tried, Spindrift Sparkling Water Lime Flavor. Now, Grandma likes this kind of stuff, so I'm thinking that she will like it, and so I'm excited to have that. On top is something that I've never received before. This is a 2.5 pounds of salad shrimp pre-cooked. Honestly, people, this is where I need your help. This is not something I've ever purchased for myself, not really sure what to do. I'm kind of thinking maybe a stir fry. I can probably put it on top of salad. I just don't know um, how to make the best use of that. So if you've got an idea, please, you know, pop pop it in the in the comments and let me know. Up here, I have two deep dish pie crusts. I am loaded for eggs right now, so I'm thinking this weekend I'll make two um, quiches. I'll give one to our neighbors, and then I'll keep the other one. And I've got everything to make that. I've got some spinach and some Swiss cheese, and I've got some leeks and whatever else goes in there. It'll be delicious. I'm going to cough. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. There is a box of honey-made graham crackers. I make a nice bar cookie for my husband with those. Also, if grandma needs a snack, they're good with peanut butter. I got a cornbread stovetop stuffing. I'll cook that up one night. We already talked about the mac and cheese and the corn flour. Over here, California roasted almonds. Uh, we eat these uh, just as they are. They last us a long, long time. Grandma can't eat the nuts. They're too hard for her, but my husband and I like them. Um, so I usually pull out a cup or two, stick it in a tupper, and then keep the rest in the freezer. A one pound of ground beef. That's always handy. One jar of veg all. Actually, I guess it's a can. I use that sometimes in stir fries. And then there is a Walmart sweet potato pie. Now we have a lot of sweets, so I think that's just going to go in the freezer and I'll fish it out one day when it seems like it will work for us. Moving around the corner, we have a Costco banana nut bread. That is just huge. So I'll probably pull that out 
and slice it up and then refreeze it and then grandma can have toasted banana bread for breakfast on some days. Now this, this is confession time people. And if you're food bank users, I wanna hear your confessions. Your confessions are safe with me. These have been available to me for the last three times that I've gone to food bank and I go twice a month. It's shopping cart style. You get to go through, pick what you want so that nothing goes to waste. The first time I bought them, I very diligently brought them home, individually wrapped them, threw them in the freezer, made them last forever. Okay. Before you clap your hands and say, yay, Deanna, the second time I brought them home, I just plowed through them. There are 18 cookies in there, and I'm pretty sure that I ate all 18 uh, probably in less than a week. So when I was planning to go to food bank yesterday, I said to myself, Deanna, if those cookies are available, you are going to leave them there. You are not going to take them. You bought a scale, your scale got delivered, and when you get on it, you're gonna be mortified at how much weight you've put on since October. So you leave those cookies behind. Well, my better angel did not win that argument. These cookies came home with me. I am gonna to try to put them in the freezer as is because I just love having them, but I don't wanna eat them all and I know I can hardly stop myself. So let's see what we can do. Also in this, and I don't have it out for you, I received one large, nice tube of toothpaste and one roll of toilet paper. So people, this is my, my haul. I'm ever so thankful and grateful. Nothing will go to waste. I will use it for meals. I may plan some additional episodes and show you what I cooked from the food bank. Just roughly, I did a comparison of what I received at the food bank to what it would be at my local Walmart, which is mostly where I shop, and it was over $200. So this $200 is a huge gift to my family. Uh, I no longer work outside the home as grandma's care takes up uh, all of my time. Like I said, she's 92 years old. She is non-ambulatory. She has three major medical conditions and she needs me um, all the time, which I am happy to do. I will talk to you about Charlene later in the future, but again, if you are considering going, I truly wish that you would. I hope for you all the best. If you liked this haul, please feel free to hit like or subscribe and check in next time about once every two weeks I'll be doing these videos from here on out all right my people you have a lovely day bye bye hello people I just wanted to show you one of the things that I made today I just posted a video of our food bank haul and now I am cooking to use up some of the things that are in my refrigerator. I have a very small freezer so I have to be careful about how much stuff I have. These are two vegetable quiches that I made. So there is, I got the pie crust, the milk, the eggs. There's two types of cheese. One of the cheese came from the food bank. The peppers are food bank. And the only thing that was mine prior to this recipe was one cup of Swiss cheese. I had a little bit left over in my refrigerator and I went ahead and used that up. So these are the quiches that I made. I think they look absolutely beautiful. Grandma and I are going to keep one and eat them for breakfast for the next few days. And the other one is going to go to one of our renters. Now, normally I have always had my adult life, a couple of refrigerators and a couple of freezers, but because we made a move from New Mexico to Washington, I only have a small refrigerator and freezer in my kitchen until my furniture and appliances get moved up. So I just don't have the room, but if I had had that kind of space, 
I would have eaten one for the next few days with Grandma or Addie if he was here. He likes these. And then the other one I would have um, cut up, portioned out nicely, double wrapped, thrown them in the freezer for individual breakfast. But I just don't have that kind of room. I also didn't have room to long-term store the pie crust. So this is what I made. All right, people, I just wanted to show you those. I'm not going to provide any recipes because I just dumped stuff in a bowl. Later, when I get more organized, I'll be happy to do that for you. All right, have a great day, people. Bye-bye. Well, one of these is not like the other. This is what happens when you're visiting Grandma and Deanna and you think you hear Daddy's truck roll up in the driveway. We tried to blend in with our surroundings. Grandma, are we gonna are we gonna win this one? I hope so. All right, so you've got your white tiger, you've got your orange tiger, and then you've got Harry. Who's living life on the edge, surrounded by the wilds. <laughs>